Now time for the seven things you'll be talking about today. Number seven. An interesting retirement uh, for U.S. Representative Ken Buck, uh, a Republican out of Colorado. Now, why is this interesting? Well, he's leaving Congress early to trigger a special election to replace him and hurt current Representative Lord Boebert, also of Colorado, who has moved into his district. See, the, the resignation triggers a special election. Hopefully he thinks somebody else will win that, and that will put them in the Casper, Catbird seat in order to beat Lord Boebert uh, in November. Or whatever. The, the whole thing is very strange. I don't know why they're doing this. But this is what Republicans promise. <laughs> they, have, they have like a six-vote majority, and, the, and they're playing these stupid games. And now it's going to be down to five. And that matters when you're trying to pass legislation. Republicans are their own worst enemies. Uh, Very stupid behavior here. Very dumb. Number six. President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump have won primaries in Georgia and Mississippi and Washington, uh, which have given both of them the nomination uh, for their parties. Congratulations, guys. We are going to have a re- do of an election that nobody wants. Yeah, that's right. All right, yeah. Uh, a majority of people don't want either of these guys. Now, there are people on each side of those that want their guy, of course, uh, but there are a lot of Democrats who don't want Biden, a lot of Republicans uh, that don't want Trump, but too bad, because this is your choice. So get ready, folks. Uh, it is now basically official. You get these two. Oh, oh, oh. And long shot Robert F. Kennedy, he says, uh, maybe we'll let uh, quarterback Aaron Rodgers or former WWE star Jesse Ventura uh, be the vice presidential nominee for him. Oh, that, that sounds serious. Number five. Uh, Alabama politicians love to talk about saving money, and then they also love to talk about all the bacon they're bringing home. Yes, uh, they want to talk about all the projects coming to Alabama in the 2024 budget deal. And I'm not slamming them for this, by the way. This is exactly what they should be doing. And they should be going out there and making sure that if there's government spending going on, at least we get a taste. We're going to have 50 states doing that, and that's how you end up with the problem we're in. But whatever. $786 million in federal investment. The U.S. Uh, Senator Katie Britt touted $232 million. She helped secure. U.S. Representative Dale Strong out of Monrovia. Uh, says he brought in $18.5 million. Uh, Representative Robert Adderholtz is bringing back $42 million. Uh, and Jerry Carl, from out of Mobile, uh, got $30 million in his last budget of his congressional career for Alabama. And obviously, the others did the same. Uh, but again, uh, this issue uh, probably part of the problem. Number four. President Joe Biden's border policy is for the border to fix itself somehow, rather than taking executive action to secure the border as he seeks bipartisan agreement that is not coming. Uh, This stance underscores Biden's emphasis on blaming Republicans instead of doing his job. When Biden was asked yesterday, hey, are you going to do something about the border, you dithering old fool? Uh, he rambled and said this. I'm counting, on the border. I'm counting on the border action happening by itself. Yeah. Uh, it's like a, a, cha- a transgender person's open wound. It's just going to heal itself. Everything's going to be fine. Yeah. He undid 100 executive orders and made the border worse. And now he's saying, eh, kind of hope it fixes itself. Let's see what happens. Sure hope nobody else dies. Number three. Uh, Inflation is still a thing. As much as people are trying to tell you that it is not, it absolutely is. And they'll tell you things like, what prices are coming down? Because, you know, they're either liars or incredibly stupid. Any person that's told you prices are coming down is stupid. That would be called deflation. We, We don't have that. We might have lower inflation because how could it be as high as it was, like 8%. But uh, U.S. Senator Katie Britt, Republican out of Montgomery, is making it pretty clear. Quote, since President Biden took office, overall prices are now up 18.6%. So when they brag about prices coming down, remember they're telling you, well, it's only going up about 3% at this point. So just be happy about that, you idiots. They'll try to tell you again, it's coming down. It's not. 
Energy price up 34.6%. Grocery price up 21.1%. Rent prices up 20%. And the average family is paying $12,000 more each year because of it. But they're going to tell you, are you better off? Remember how bad Trump was? Remember that? Number two. Oh, boy. A national transgender group is weighing in on the controversy involving a transgender adult man entering the changing area for minor females at space camp and has declared that the parents complaining about it don't matter. And this grown, butch-coated space queer... I took my moniker. That be treated like any other female around young children at space camp. And some politicians agree. Okay. The Space and Rocket Center receives federal funding, donations, and state funding as well. It may be time for board members of this organization, which, surprise, surprise, appear to have had its information removed off the website. It might be time for them to wake up and realize that this is not aligned with proper values and the mission of the organization. And you know what else? It's weird. We should be allowed to say it's weird because it's weird. Now, time for the number one thing you'll be talking about today. What? Uh, Our friends in the media and on the left live in an alternate reality, and never has that been more uh, obvious uh, than at the hearing yesterday about Joe Biden and his classified documents. After a contentious hearing, it is now clear that President Joe Biden was not exonerated. You know how you know that? Uh, because a member of the of Congress said, you exonerated Joe Biden. And the guy said, no, I didn't. He did share classified information with his ghostwriter on tape. That ghostwriter deleted that information when they found it was being investigated. Oh, nothing, nothing weird going on there. Like, did they bleach bin it or... Hit it with a hammer, or as Hillary Clinton say, did I wipe it with a cloth? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. He also did not remember key dates because he is a mentally challenged old fool, and he is not the best Biden ever, as Joe Scarborough calls it. The best Biden in 50 years. But despite what the media says, even a CNN analyst is admitting that lying Joe Biden misled the public, and it is obvious that Joe Biden is receiving special treatment as never going to be President Hillary Clinton did. I mentioned her earlier. And President Donald Trump is not getting the same leeway. But can I remind people of something? And I've said this a dozen times, and I will say this a dozen more times. The outrage here is not that Donald Trump was charged with crimes. It's that no one else ever is. If we're going to charge Donald Trump, you have to say, okay, this is the new standard. Okay? If he's going to be charged, then at least you're going to go back. No one's asking you to go back and like arrest Hillary Clinton, although you could if you want to. No one's saying that. What they're saying is, if this is the standard in which you're going to play the game, play the game the same way. So now Democrats, again, are in a weird place. Last week, they were telling you how Joe Biden has it all together. Why? Because he screamed and yelled at the State of the Union. It was awesome. And now we're back to, eh. He forgets things. Well, they tell you he doesn't forget things, but you can't charge him because he forgets things. Yeah, don't worry about it. It depends what the situation is at this time. Joe Biden did not forget when his son died, except in the quotes where he absolutely forgets where his son died. There's also a scene in this where Grant and Joe Biden are clearly operating at the same level. I don't know if you guys saw this, but my son is five, and when he explains to me how cars work, He also makes car noises and engine noises and stuff like this. And Joe Biden was doing that during his questioning. Why? Because his brain is rotting. The president of the United States' brain is rotting to the point where he can't remember things. And he's saying, yeah, the car goes. And if you think I'm joking, go look. I'm not. That's where we're at with the President of the United States. Just just FYI, worth noting, worth pointing out. If you'd like to weigh in here, you absolutely may do so. Simple way, simply put, 866-494-WVNN. That is the QC Kinetics free speech phone lines, 866-494-WVNN. Go get your free evaluation at QC Kinetics. If you're back, your neck, your shoulders, your elbows, whatever. If you're feeling pain, 
They can help you right there. QC Kinetics. Go see them today. You can also shoot us a text. ScoutPestControl.com. WVNN. Hot take text. Like get your hot takes in and your questions for 10 with him. Yes, very simple there. Uh, 925-494-WVNN. And you can email us, Dale at WVNN.com. That is the downtownrescuemission.org. Email inbox, Dale at WVNN.com. Check them out uh, right there, downtownrescuemission.org. Uh, today, uh, we'll be right back. Get WVNN's Dale Jackson's seven things you should be talking about today right in your email box every morning. Go to yellowhammernews.com and sign up today.